in this lesson, we are going to have a short tutorial on some short observed objective questions in biology, um, enzymes, digestion, photosynthesis. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel after watching so that you can receive every update from this channel. So let's begin. So let's begin with bioenergetic physics, how that falls under photosynthesis. So the first question, the branch of biology which deals with the study of energy transformation in between biological systems is called. So which branch of biology studies energy transformations in biological systems? And that is bioenergetics. Bioenergetics. The next question, the loss of hydrogen and electron is termed as. So when electron is lost by a species or by a molecule, the molecule becomes oxidized. So the loss of hydrogen or electron by a species is called oxidation. The ultimate source of energy is, so the ultimate source of energy we source from plant and plants source from sunlight. So the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms is sunlight. ATP is energy currency which is made from, so ATP is made from Adenosine triphosphate is from is it A adenine, ribose sugar, or three phosphate? So all these three are all molecules that form the ATP molecule. So the answer is it was all of them. One bond of ATP broken to release. So when one bond of ATP is being broken down, an equivalent energy of 7.3 kilocalorie is released. So photosynthesis takes place in, is it in plant, is it in algae, is it in some bacteria, or which of them? So I think plants carry photosynthesis, green algae carry photosynthesis because they have chlorophyll, some bacteria like cyanobacteria carry photosynthesis because they have chlorophyll. So the answer is D. All of these carry out photosynthesis. Question 7. During photosynthesis, what is released as a byproduct? So during photosynthesis, where you have a molecule of glucose being oxidized, or oh, sorry, when you have carbon dioxide plus what we produce a glucose molecule and oxygen as the byproduct. Which one is required for photosynthesis? So for photosynthesis, okay, you have sunlight in there, you have chlorophyll in there, you have carbon dioxide in there. Yeah, so all of these three are required for photosynthesis to occur. Okay. So, chlorophyll reflected at which color? So, at which color of the electromagnetic spectrum is the chlorophyll reflected? Is it the blue? Is it the green? The yellow? The red? Yeah, the answer is green. This is where chlorophyll is reflected. Chlorophyll mostly absorbed at which, I mean, region of the white light or the electromagnetic spectrum that is the blue and the red region here is where they are absorbed but at the green region they are reflected ATP is used for so I think here there is no possible answer so I recommend you to put your answer here at the comment section after watching the video so what is ATP used for question 12 which pigment absorb blue and red light so it is chlorophyll A, as we said here. So here is where, I mean, chlorophyll is absorbed. Light reaction is dependent reaction that can take place in. So where does light reaction take place? Is it the stroma? No. Is it the granum? Is it the chloroplast? Or is it none? So in the stroma, here is where we have the Krebs cycle, sorry. The carbon cycle occurring in um, photosynthesis in the ground where we have the talacoid membrane here's where the light reaction of photosynthesis okay so the answer is b dark reaction as we said take place in the stroma during dark reaction of photosynthesis which of these are used any dph is used of course atp is used of course Carbon dioxide is utilized, of course, so all of these three are used during dark reaction or photosynthesis. 
Krebs cycle takes place in the mitochondria. So this one, it takes place in the mitochondria. One glucose molecule gives rise next to. So when you have one glucose molecule, this question is a bit controversial. So I would like you to draw your answer also at the comment section after watching. I suggest the answer is C. Because when you use, I mean, photoglycerol shuttle to shuttle all the energy produced I mean, the site also after glycolysis into the mitochondria, you produce a net ATP of 36. So which, of, which one do you suggest? Just drop your answer at the comment section. Cell only use to carry their function. So what the cell use? They use ATP to carry out their functions. Photosynthesis take place in where? They take place in the mesophyll cells of the leaf because here we have enough or abundant chlorophyll for, I mean, light absorption. One of the following may not require for respiration. So the answer there, let's see. Okay, so that's enough for the photosynthesis and bio bioenergetics. Let's jump to um, nutrition. So under nutrition, the process in which organisms obtain the essential materials for making food and convert the substance for growth energy and regulating various function is nutrition. That's the answer. So the answer question. One of nutrition is D. The element which require in large amounts. So what elements are required in large amount? Those elements are called macro element. Macro element. Small amount is the micro element, the large amount is the macro element. Which one is micro element? So carbon is none, zinc is the answer because zinc is a mineral which is required in a very small or minute amount in the body. A condition in which leaf produce insufficient chlorophyll, this one is called chlorosis. When leaf produce insufficient chlorophyll, the condition is called chlorophyll, uh, sorry, chlorosis. Under this condition, the leaf become very pale and yellow color. The process in which phosphate and nitrite enter rivers and increase algae. So this one is the mechanism of fertilizers. The nutrients or the macronutrients enter the soil through a process we call eutrophication. Eutrophication to I mean nourish the soil for plant growth. Which one is disadvantage of organic fertilizer? Which one is a disadvantage of organic fertilizer? So this one, the answer is this. Because when you apply fertilizers to soils, maybe um, the phosphate and the nitrite might enter the, what do you call it, the rivers or let's say nearby seas to increase the content, the concentration there. So it's a disadvantage of, I mean, fertilizers when applied in plant. One gram of glucose fully oxidized gives rise to about how many kilocalories of energy? So this as you said there is around um, four kilocalories of um, energy. Four kilocalories of energy. Which one is water soluble vitamin? So which of this is water soluble vitamin here you have let's see you have vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C now we have vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin D, and vitamin E. So which of these is a water-soluble vitamin? So I suggest the answer is B. Vitamin B is the only water-soluble vitamin here. Which one is your answer? Just drop your answer at the comment section. About what percentage of the body calcium is stored in the bone tissue? So what percentage of calcium is stored in the bone tissue? So in the bone tissue, you have about almost 99% of the calcium in the bone. So this is my answer. About 99% of the calcium are stored in the bone. Just drop your answer at the comment section and let's see um, what is correct. So which one disease is due to mineral deficiency? So who of these by mineral deficiency, marathon, no carbohydrate, this one is protein, this one is iodine. So goiter is by mineral deficiency mineral deficiency the food particles which diffuse into cells from blood and oxidize to become part of the body is called so that process is termed as assimilation assimilation 
a certain blood particle has been diffused into cells. As from the small intestines, it is called assimilation. Which organ is combined parts of respiratory and digestive system? So the pharynx, the throat, is the um, the organ which form part of both the respiratory tract and the digestive tract. The answer is pharynx A. The esophagus opens to stomach, to stomach with the help of it is the cardiac sprinter. Cardiac sprinter that opens the esophagus into the stomach. Hydrochloric acid converts inactive persinogen into hydrochloric acid convert inactive persinogen into pepsin. That the answer is um, C, not the board. You know what the answer here is C. Pepsin. Most of carbohydrates digest inside the mouth because the saliva release an enzyme called an amylase. The answer is A. Amylase is what begins digestive um, digestion of carbohydrates in the mouth. Protein digestion takes place in the stomach. Here's where protein digestion begins in the body. Food usually remains in stomach for at least yeah, this answer is very controversial. How long does food remain in a normal human body stomach? So, per my suggestion, I think the answer is around 4 to 5 hours. 4 to 5 hours. What do you think? Drop your answer at the comment section and let's educate ourselves. Which one is accessory digestive gland? So, which of this is an accessory digestive gland the liver the gallbladder the pancreas in fact it's all of them this one they are not part of the tract do but they are just accessory they form part of the accessory digestive tract so if i should see this one this says most of water minerals and vitamins are reabsorbed in so they are reabsorbed in the bowel sorry most of the water mineral Water minerals and vitamins are reabsorbed in. So here they are reabsorbed, I think, in the large intestine. Answer didn't come here. It is in the large intestines. Drop your answer if you're not sure of, I mean, my answer, and let's educate ourselves. Green alkaline liquid with salt and without enzyme stored in gallbladder is called the bile. Sorry, I, I give this one answer as the question 20. So here the answer is bile. The green alkaline liquid with salt. And without an enzyme which is stored in the gallbladder is called the bile. Which cell of the pancreas release pancreatic juice? So the cell there is called the acinula cell, acinula cell which releases the pancreatic juice. Which one is not part of large intestines? So which one is not part of large intestines? So it is the ileum. This one is rather part of the small intestines, not part of the large intestines which one is not released which one is not released in digestive i mean juice so which of does not release any juice in the digestive tract we have the intestine the stomach the pancreas and the esophagus so let's see so the esophagus does not release any digestive juice in the course of digestion so let's go to enzymes and we bring our tutorials to an end all type of chemical reactions inside living organisms in which small or macromolecules converted to large molecules and larger molecules into smaller molecules and making of compound is called metabolism. So through this process, all larger molecules can be converted to smaller and vice versa. So metabolism, I mean, summarizes the whole of these processes. Biological catalyst which speed up chemical reaction and reduce activation energy is called enzymes. That's why it's enzymes. So the scientist who first discovered an enzyme was a German scientist called I think I don't know the name here, but I think the answer is E. I'm not sure the name. Just drop your answer at the comment section if um you really know the name, the name or the full meaning of the W. The energy which requires kicking starts.
chemical reaction is called is the activation energy the activation energy the proteins which are part of enzymes are known as proteins which are part of the enzymes are called the apple enzymes the apple enzymes the apple enzymes so the protein and the non-protein parts together form parts which we call the halo enzymes the non-protein parts sometimes can be called cofactors if they are minerals or metals or coenzymes if they are from vitamin sources so the answer for this one is holo enzymes when a vitamin combine with dinucleotide to make when vitamin combine with dinucleotide to make and this question is not really complete they are trying to say the vitamin which form part of the enzyme is called coenzyme i think the coenzyme so which one is not a property of an enzyme it didn't come okay so that's the end of our lesson thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe anywhere you think the answer maybe might be wrong try and drop your answer in the comment section and let's all learn together thank you